Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about non-stress test. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Non-stress test is an important part of antepartum assessment of fetal well-being. Remember, over two-thirds of fetal deaths occur in the antepartum period. Most of these deaths occur in women who are at risk of uteroplacental insufficiency. This can be prevented by identifying the fetuses at risk and instituting maternal and fetal interventions. Basically, the idea of antepartum fetal monitoring is to avoid antepartum fetal death and perinatal morbidity by the early detection of fetal compromise. Now, what are the indications for antepartum fetal monitoring? It is done in women who are at high risk of uteroplacental insufficiency. Like prolonged pregnancy, pregnancy complicated by hypertension, pregnancy complicated by diabetes mellitus, previous stillbirth, intrauterine growth restriction, advanced maternal age, multiple gestation with discordant growth, and antiposmolipid antibody syndrome. Other indications for antepartum fetal monitoring include decreased fetal movements, oligohydramnios, and it can be done as a routine antepartum surveillance. Now let us see about non-stress test. It is the most commonly used test for fetal well-being. It is basically a screening test. It is valuable to identify fetal wellness rather than illness. Now what is the principle of this test? The sympathetic and parasympathetic components of the autonomic nervous system of the fetus control cardiac fetal behavior. Fetal heart rate accelerations in response to fetal movements is a sign of healthy fetus. What is the procedure of this test? Continuous electronic monitoring of fetal heart rate along with recording of fetal movements is undertaken. This is done using cardiotography. Now let us see about the interpretation of non-stress test. A non-stress test is said to be reactive or reassuring when there is normal baseline fetal heart rate that is fetal heart rate between 120 to 160 beats per minute when there is normal variability that is variability of 5 to 20 beats per minute from the baseline. The most important criteria is the acceleration criteria that is a non-stress test is said to be reactive when there are greater than or equal to two accelerations of greater than 15 beats per minute above the baseline and for greater than 15 seconds in a 20 minute observation. Also, it should not have any spontaneous decelerations. If a non-stress test is reactive, the chance of perinatal death is only 5 per thousand births. If a non-stress test is reactive, it should be repeated weekly. Now, this is an example of a reactive non-stress test. You can notice accelerations of 15 beats per minute lasting 15 seconds with each fetal movement. These accelerations correspond with the fetal movement. And these accelerations last for 15 seconds and the variability is around 15 beats per minute from the baseline. Now, when will you call a non-stress test as non-reactive or non-reassuring? When the baseline fetal heart rate is less than 120 or greater than 160 beats per minute, when there is decreased baseline variability, that is when there is when the variability is less than 5 beats per minute from the baseline, when there is deceleration, the most important criteria for classifying a non-stress test as non-reactive is absence of accelerations even after 40 minutes. If a non-stress test is non-reactive, the chance of perinatal death is 40 per thousand births. If a non-stress test is non-reactive, we should proceed with contraction stress test or a biophysical profile of the fetus. Now, this is an example of a non-reactive non-stress test. Note that there are no accelerations of fetal heart rate with fetal movements. Now, coming to the limitation of non-stress test. Non-stress test has a high false positive rate. This is true especially in case of preterm fetus. 
Now let us see about vibroacoustic stimulation test. This is done in case of unsatisfactory non-stress test. That is when there are no fetal movements after 40 minutes of observation. In vibroacoustic stimulation test, an electronic larynx is placed on the maternal abdomen to provide vibroacoustic stimulation. Fetal heart rate accelerations will be present in case of healthy fetus after vibroacoustic stimulation. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe and tell your friends about this channel. Thank you.